Solar-powered cars have long been discarded and ridiculed due to the cell's low efficiency, heavy weight and high pricing. The major protagonist of electric vehicles, Elon Musk, even once said that the least efficient place to put solar is on a car. But what are we seeing now? The world is welcoming viable production-ready models, and Elon has made a U-turn in his conviction. He is installing panels on the upcoming Cybertruck. After all, there seem to be some opportunities for EVs that have no need to ever be plugged in. Today we'll make a quick roundup of the already existing solar cars, so time to get excited about the sustainable future of automaking. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the notification bell and enjoy the ride! Cyan When the Cyan was first introduced in 2017, it was marketed as the world's first production solar-powered car with an extremely affordable price below 20,000 euros. Since then, the price undoubtedly went up. The startup had to survive through a risky crowdfunding campaign, but now it is back on track with production. Planned to be manufactured at the former SAAB factory in Sweden, the quirky hatchback does not bother too much about the looks and performance, but rather focuses on maximizing its sustainability. The entire body is covered with Veloe IBC cells that can perform in cloudy conditions and, on average, will generate 21 miles worth of range daily. The 35 kWh battery is sufficient for 155 miles on a charge and could be rented out. The three-phase electric motor is being sourced from Continental. It makes 161 horsepower and 199 pound-feet of torque, with the highway-worthy speeds up to 87 miles per hour. Fisker Ocean After failing with his plug-in hybrid Karma and all-electric Emotion sports cars, Henrik Fisker has earned himself a reputation of the con artist in the EV world. This time, the notorious designer is venturing into the electric crossover market, promising to build the most affordable long-range model in the segment. The Ocean gets an 80 kWh battery, good for up to 300 miles, and depending on your needs, either a single or a dual-motor propulsion system. Both get the latest infotainment tech, all-vegan interior and an optional full-length solar roof. Fisker does not disclose its capacity and recharging capabilities, though the company does say that it is aimed to boost the crossover's efficiency and range. As usual, the prototype does sound tempting, but only time will tell whether Henrik actually delivers on his promises. Lightyear 1 The Dutch startup Lightyear started developing its solar charging car a couple of years ago. And now, the brand has finally revealed the final design of the model. This four-door sedan has a sleek and futuristic look with the speed tail inspired rear. There is an LED strip that outlines its hood and integrates into the headlights. To reduce the weight and increase efficiency, the one is built using carbon fiber and aluminum components. Its roof, hood and trunk are covered in the new generation solar panels that are able to add 7.5 miles to the battery charge per every hour of sun exposure. Lightyear forgoes the traditional drivetrain setup, replacing it with a 4 and wheel motors and a battery with 450 miles of range. We should also mention that Lightyear are currently testing their solar tech on the Model 3 and VW Crafter. Tesla Cybertruck As it was already mentioned, Elon is fully embracing solar, especially so since Solar City is an integral part of Tesla. The Cybertruck will be the major promoter of the technology, arriving with an optional tonneau cover made of solar panels. This automatic truck bed cover will either replenish 15 miles of range daily or would serve as a base camp power station if the Tesla is used for overlanding. Besides its self-recharging capabilities, the stainless steel behemoth is aiming high in terms of performance. There will be multiple powertrain configurations with one, two and three motors, and the latter will be able to produce up to 805 horsepower and tow 14,000 pounds. The Cyber Beast can do up to 500 miles and drives like a dragster with 2.9 seconds 0 to 60. Additionally, with the 16 inches of clearance, 
adaptive air suspension and best approach departure angles in the class, it is an outstanding off-roader. Stella Era If we were to describe the Stella Era in a single sentence, then we would tell you that this family car is a Robin Hood of solar energy. The Dutch non-profit solar team Eindhoven developed a vehicle that accumulates so much clean energy that it can share it directly with other EVs. This four-seater is the company's fourth prototype. It is powered by two N-wheel motors and is equipped with highly efficient regenerative braking. The engineers do not disclose the exact specs of the powertrain, but claim that the ERA can cover from 560 to almost 750 miles on a single charge, depending on the sun exposure, of course. Besides, the car features a built-in autonomous system that reparks the car to sunny spots on the parking lot. In addition, the Stella ERA controls the amount of energy it can share with the others, so you'll always be able to drive home when needed. Toyota Prius Prime Starting from 2017, the Japanese version of the Prius Prime has been available with an optional solar roof. It was developed by Panasonic, but added mere 3.7 miles of daily range, and was rather considered as a trendy gimmick than a viable charging method for the car. This time, however, Toyota is partnering with Sharp and an EDO to develop a new generation of onboard solar battery panel with 34% efficiency. The cell's coverage is now extended to the hood and hatch, so the overall rated generation output is increased to 860 watts. This is equivalent to 28 miles of daily range and completely covers the capacity of Prime's battery. The car will not lose its capability of self-recharge even when in motion. And when the 1.8-liter four-cylinder combustion engine kicks in, the incredible 130-plus MPG fuel economy and 640 miles of range or at your service. If you want to support the electric revolution, you simply have to smash the like button. Thanks for your input, and let's get back to it! VW IT Bus Cargo Based on the same platform as the original IT Bus minivan, this is the workhorse within the upcoming VW ID family. Planned for production in 2022, the van gets several functional updates that will make it more suitable for commercial use. First, there is a new solar roof that can add 9.3 miles per day to the battery charge. Next, the van houses a smart cockpit workspace, while in the rear you will find a number of high-voltage power outlets to run tools. The van configuration is slightly longer than the passenger ID bus, offering 1,760 pounds of payload capacity. The drivetrain setup is unchanged, so it consists of a 204 horsepower motor, rear-wheel drive, and several battery options, offering up to 340 miles of driving. Fiat Centoventi Do you remember the modular Centoventi concept from the 2019 Geneva Auto Show? The small and boxy hatchback was advertised as Fiat's most open-minded automobile, and it was a sort of plug-and-play vehicle. Being fully electric, the Centaventi was powered by an array of 1 to 5 underfloor batteries, each offering up to 62 miles on a charge. The hatchback was presented with 256 color schemes and 4 roof options, including a solar panel one that can charge the car on the go or power the ad banner on the tailgate. In spring 2020, this concept resurfaced again, as Fiat confirmed it for serious production. At the moment, we are still unsure how close the mass-market version will be to the original, and there are even rumors that the Centavanti might merge into an all-electric version of the Fiat Panda. SunSwift Violet Founded in 1996, SunSwift is a solar racing team out of Australia. They are known as a pioneer in solar cars development, as well as an active participant of the World's Solar Challenge. The company's first EV prototype was developed in the late 90s, and since then, it went through five generation changes. The most recent version of the race model was revealed in 2017 under the name Violet. The EV was designed to compete in the Cruiser class of the Challenge, receiving four doors 
and four passenger seats. The car's solar array was fully reworked, now covering 54 square feet and achieving improved efficiency of 22%. It, however, kept the carbon fiber Monaco construction and two rear wheel and half motors of the predecessors. The Violet is powered by a small battery with the maximum of 20 kilowatt hour capacity, but under the Australian sun, it can cover up to 620 miles on a charge. Solar Rolla VW Bus This German born bus is a frequent visitor of conversion shops due to its ample space behind the front seats and, of course, its timeless design. We have seen dozens of the model's camper conversions before, but a fully solar powered VW bus is a rarity. Built from scratch by the Solar Rolla startup, the camper features roof mounted solar panels that can tilt for a maximum solar exposure. The configuration offers 1.2 kW of solar energy, but the number can be doubled if you opt for two solar awnings that pull out on both sides, providing almost 3 kW of energy. The Solar Rolla's latest conversion is fitted with the Tesla Model S battery modules with a total capacity of 37.5 kWh, and this promises up to 100 miles of range. Upon request, the bus can be equipped with a full kitchen, an upper sleeping loft, a couch, and other amenities. What do you think about the viability of solar-powered cars? Should we install panels on each vehicle, or rather work on expanding the charging networks powered by solar? Mention in the comments those models from the lineup that impressed you the most. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, click the like button to support the EV revolution, and as always, may the torque be with you!